high friends, the W17 plus smartwatch system may crash when updating firmware. This video will show you how to fix that if it happens, step by step. At first, we need to use the M Active Pro application to update it at first. You may succeed using Mac M, M Active Pro, but you may be possible to encounter failure and the rate is very high. Then you have to follow this video to recover your watch. At first, we need to connect the W17 Pro smartwatch to my smartphone. When the connection is succeed, the application will show connection icon on the screen, also on the smartwatch screen. Now I uh, find the watch. I will find my watch on the, on the list, then connect. If you see, The icon on the smartwatch screen is green. Then we can see the the firmware version on the smartwatch is 4.0. The version is 4.0, and the application found the new firmware and promote to update the firmware. Okay, let's try. Okay, it's download the firmware from the website to the smartphone, and then you try to download the smart the download the firmware to the smartwatch. But unfortunately, the update is failed, and the application always show that download is failure and some error is happen and try to download it again. The download is failed. And my smartwatch is crashed. So uh, what can we do now? The system is crashed. So what can we do? So at first we have to go to the manufacturer website to download the tools. I have installed the two <coughs> GR2 box into my smartphone. Then I will open the application GR2 box. The GR2 box is family. It will automatically scan all the Bluetooth device around you and you can find a device called SSZ Boot that is the correct smartwatch fail to update Try to click the connect button to connect the Bluetooth device and waiting for the connection finish Let's see whether you can succeed to connect to the SSZ hyphen boot device. We are waiting for the connecting. Still waiting. Still waiting. But unfortunately, it failed to connect to the device. So what can we do now? At first, let's go to the setting Bluetooth device and turn off the Bluetooth setting option. Okay, turn off the Bluetooth set option and also turn on it again. And let's to try whether you can fix this problem. Let me try again. Click connect. Wait into the condition to be finished. Okay. Let's go to the Bluetooth setting again. And we found the SSZ hyphen boot have been connected before. So uh, let's try to delete this connection. 
now and turn off and turn off the Bluetooth setting and also turn on and let's try it again. It's a see this time. Then we we'll go to the application or the, the application tag and choose the DFU item and click the connect and also connect the device as SXZ-boot the connection finish there is an update column in the DFU function you need to choose the bin file that download from the manufacturer website we have downloaded before now I'm fighting the bin file in my, in my smartphone that download before and then we click the update click click the star the star after com completion and choose to update yes for the on the but on the pop up and then you can see the download is starting there's the download percentage show on the screen and we need to wait for the it finish. The time may be about the download time may be about ten minutes. So we at this time we have to wait for the download finish. Okay, when the download finish, the smartwatch turn on again. Now let's take a look at the firmware version of the smartwatch at this moment. Okay, it shows the V4.4.9. The version is V4.9. If there are any question you want to know, please let me know. Email me or call me on the WhatsApp. Thank you.